Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here and in this video I'll be showing you how you can increase FPS and reduce lag of the game Doom Eternal. So first of all I'll be showing you how to optimize your NVIDIA control panel and best settings for your NVIDIA control panel. After that I'll be showing you the best graphic settings for your game in your game as you can see. I'll show you with the help of screenshots and after that I'll show you some workarounds that will help in improving overall gaming performance of your PC. So watch this video till the end, it will surely help you in increasing FPS and reducing lag of the game. So first of all, right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. And once you are in your NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings. Here go to program settings and in program settings select your game. You can add your game by clicking here on add. And you have to search the directory of the game Doom Eternal. And you have to look for the .exe file. But I am not having the game Doom Eternal in the PC that I am using for recording. But don't worry, I will show you with the example of game Life is Strange. You have to do all the same thing, everything same for the game Doom Eternal too. So I will show you with the example of Life is Strange. So once you selected your game Doom Eternal here, you have to select High Performance NVIDIA Processor. And here, scroll down and here go to Power Management Mode first. Here, it is one of the most important step. Prefer Maximum Performance. Once you have done that, Go to threaded optimization and turn it on. And after that, go to vertical sync and turn it off. So we have done three things here. Vertical sync off, threaded optimization on, and we have preferred the maximum performance for power management mode. Here it is. You have to apply these settings and that's it for the first step. Now let's go to the in-game settings. As I've already told you, I have not installed this game in the PC I'm using for recording. So I'll show you with the help of screenshots. So first of all, Go to your video settings and here window mode should be full screen. Once you have turned it to full screen, your resolution should be according to your screen. So if you are using a normal laptop, it should be 1366 by 768. And for it depends on your screen, so you can change it accordingly. And vertical sync should be off as we have turned it off in NVIDIA control panel 2. Enable HDR, turn it off. HDR should be turned off. And motion blur is your choice, but I prefer motion blur off. And after that, move down to advanced settings. Advanced settings, as you can see, I've selected custom and then texture pool size. It's the most important part of the settings. As you can see, as I've selected Ultra Nightmare, so it's using 6.5 GB of my virtual RAM out of 8 GB. But if you are having a PC with 4 GB of virtual RAM, you can turn to medium. As you can see, as I've turned this to medium, your virtual RAM is 3.5 GB of your RAM is being used. And in case if you are having a PC with 2 GB of virtual RAM, you have to turn it low. Now, once you have selected the texture pool size, now the most important part is shadow quality and after that volumetric quality. So well, volumetric quality should be low and shadow quality should also be low. Even if you are having 8 GB of virtual RAM then also turn it off. It, all, it helps a lot in increasing FPS of your game. So once you have turned them to off, also reflection quality should be off, motion blur quality low, directional occlusion low. The only things I have set to medium with, a 8, GB, with 8 GB of virtual RAM is lights quality, decal quality, water quality and texture filtering quality to nightmare but if you are having again a low quality uh, low grade pc with uh, just a medium graphic card then you should turn everything to low here because it might not affect your graphics by much but it will surely affect your fps so once you've done it you have to go to reflect i've already told you that reflection quality should be off or low after that in sharpening i've turned it to 33 and film game to 25 and in the next step as you can see depth field is also off and that's all what you can do in these settings. Apply these settings, try running your game. It will surely help you in increasing FPS. Now let's move to the most important part of the video in which I'll show you how to improve overall gaming performance of your PC. So now let's start with the step one, which is the most important step. So without any further ado, let's start improving your overall gaming performance. So the first step is the most important step as in this step, we'll be downloading a game booster. A game booster is a software that puts maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game. So the game booster we'll be downloading is Razer Cortex. So just search on Google, download Razer Cortex Game Booster and go to this first link by Razer.com. So it will take some time to load and after that click on download now. And its downloading will be started and once it's downloaded, its installation is really simple. So once you install this, you'll be on this page. But the advanced setup of this game booster is really complicated because you have to work with these things as you can see processes, spatial services and non-window services. So I won't be covering these things in this video. So I've already made another video about advanced setup of Razer Cortex Game Booster. So I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this video. So please watch that before proceeding further. 
so this is the most important step so please do the advanced setup by watching that video watch that video right now and then proceed to the second step in the second step we'll be reducing runtime services to do so search services in your search tab and go to this first option services app it will take few seconds to load depending on your PC's configuration and here it is it's loaded here scroll scroll down to X so in X, Xbox Live is Xbox accessory management service double click on it and by default it is on manual or automatic just click on disable and apply and click on OK do the same with Xbox Live auth manager by default it's on manual or automatic disable it and do the same with next to that is Xbox Live game safe disable it and Xbox Live networking service I've already disabled it now search for F and go to fax and disable it too I've already disabled it by for you it will be on manual or automatic just click on disable and apply and click on OK so that's it for this step so these are the services that we don't need while gaming that's why I've stopped them so now let's proceed to the third step third step again is a really important one and this will be changing our PC's configuration so just search for run and here type msconfig msconfig and press enter it will again take few seconds depending on your PC's configuration and here it is so select selective startup load system services and load startup items and the next page that is boot by default nothing is selected here you have to select no GUI boot and by default timeout is 30 seconds just change it to 3 seconds like I have done now go to services and here hide all Microsoft services by default everything is ticked here like this but here look for the services that are of no need to you while gaming so and disable them so I'll disable Adobe Advanced Service and all the Adobe services and I'll also disable all the Google services Google Chrome services that is and I've already disabled Team Viewer, AZ KL service and QM Emulator service so that's it for the services tab now go to startup now open task manager and here we'll be disabling all the apps that are of no need to us while our PC starts so as you can see I've disabled most of the apps the only app I have enabled is my audio manager and ba audio background processors only these three are enabled rest everything I've disabled on startup it helps me in freeing up a lot of RAM by disabling this on startup so that's it for this step just apply these settings it will require a restart to apply these settings so I'm exiting without restart but you should restart your PC now so now let's proceed to the next step in this step we'll be changing our PC's visual settings so to do so just go to your this PC and right click on it and go to its properties now in properties go to advanced system settings in advanced system settings under performance tab go to settings and in settings by default it's on let windows choose what's best for your computer you have to change it to adjust for best performance and just take smooth edges for screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons so this won't give you a huge gaming boost but will surely help in freeing up a lot of RAM and will indirectly help you in improving the gaming performance just apply these settings and click on OK so that's it for this step now let's proceed to the last one now let's come to the last step it will give your PC a boost but for a temporary time in this step we'll be deleting temporary files so just search run and here type temp temp and delete all the files present in this folder I recently deleted all the files in this folder so this folder is empty but if you haven't deleted your temporary files for quite some time then you will be having plenty of files in it after doing so again search run and here type percentage sign temp and again percentage sign and in this folder also I deleted all the files recently but still there are some files you might be having hundreds of them if you haven't deleted them recently delete all the files permanently and skip the files that are not being deleted as you can see already 4 GB is deleted it is deleting 4 GB junk files these all are junk files and are of no need to your PC and after that once you have deleted all the temporary files in this folder go to the last folder that is prefetch go to your this PC and here NC drive go to windows and in windows search for prefetch open prefetch and here also delete all the files present here these all are junk files I've already deleted all the files here too recently so I don't have much files here but you will be having a hundred of them so just delete all of them I'll skip the files that are not being deleted and that's it so that's it for this video if you found these steps helpful please hit the like button below if you have any doubt write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for more
थैंक यू एंड एव नाइस डे